Hello everyone, it's Angela, and today we're going to be going over equa new equations for light and electrons. However, to review, let's go over the equations that we have seen. We have seen the kinetic energy equation, EK equals one half mv squared. We've seen the gravitational force potential energy equation, EP equals MGH. We've seen the potential energy equation of two charges feeling an electric static force from each other. EP equals C Q1 Q2 divided by R. We have our total energy, which equals EK plus EP. We have the energy of a photon, which is E equals H nu. And we have our virial theorem, which is EK equals negative ET, which also equals one half E. So now that we've gone over these, let's go over some new equations. These equations are going to relate to velocity and momentum. You'll see some, some of these variables in all of them. So first, let's start with light. And we're going to start off with this equation. C equals lambda times mu. Now C, in this case, is the speed of light. And it has a value of 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. This is the wavelength. And this is frequency. So wavelength we know, or length in general, we usually use units of meter. Frequency has units of per second. So that's how we get this to be meters per second. And a good way of illustrating this equation is through the visible light spectrum. Now, this spectrum has, of course, the colors that we know, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. But as you can see, each color has an associated frequency and associated wavelength. And when you use this equation, this, these, each color is frequency and wavelength when multiplied together will equal the speed of light. So the spectrum is all at the speed of light. And let me prove it to you real quick. Let's take violet, for example. So right now, violet has a frequency of 750. And I'm going to convert to our normal units of frequency. So it'll be times 10 to the 12th per second. I'm going to convert units of wavelength from nanometer to meter, and so that will be 400 times 10 to the negative 9 meter. And when you multiply this together, you will get that this is equal to 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And this is pretty close to the speed of light. It's just a little bit more rounded. And it is true that if you do this for all of the colors, you will get that the speed of light is about 3 times 10 to the 8th, or more specifically, 2.998 times 10 to the 8th. All right. 
So we now have this equation in our arsenal. Now, waves in general obey the no waves in general obey the equation v equals lambda nu. So now it doesn't need to be specifically the speed of light; it can be any velocity. And now. These equations are for particles moving at the speed of light. And so now for a particle moving far less, it obeys this equation, which is that the momentum equals mass times the velocity. Now, mass has units of normally kilograms. This has units, velocity is units of meters per second. So this usually has units of kilogram meter per second. And this equation is something that we use for particles. And both of these we use for waves, this specifically for light. And now electrons also have a wavelength. And so we can write the momentum equation to account for that. And so we will have, let me actually erase some of this to give us a little bit more space. and drag these over. We have that momentum equals H, Planck's constant, divided by the wavelength. And this specific wavelength is known as the de Broglie wavelength. All right, so that is our video today. We pretty much want to have a new bank of equations that we can use. I hope you found this helpful and use these equations when you're solving problems, think about them. Thank you so much for watching.